Do you want to learn how to make a dazzling brooch pillow like this one? Hey everybody, I'm Natalie with TotallyDazzle.com where we help you craft with a little bit of sparkle by providing all the rhinestone embellishments you need. So, we need um, our pillow. And the first step is going to be to just measure out the center if you want or you can eyeball it. And the best thing to do is to just go corner to corner like this. This one is 24 inches and then I'm just putting a little dot with a pencil in the middle. That way I know where my center point is. And when I got frazzled over our technical difficulties, I left my fishing line. Once you have your pillow and it's marked, you are going to need like a large upholstery needle. This one is much larger than you would need. Probably half this length would be fine. And some fishing line. I'm not using thread for this project because we're going to have to pull on it really tightly and regular thread will um, probably break. So I highly recommend using string or fishing line because it's quite strong. So what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing this fishing line and um, I'm just gonna cut a nice long piece of it. And then I'm going to grab one of our um, buttons from Totally Dazzled. The buttons are the ones that have a little loop on the back. And most of the mix packs come with a button or two. So what I wanna do is I wanna thread my button on and thread it on my needle. So what I'm going to do is um, put the um, thread the fishing line. I'm going to try to get close so you guys can see through this button hole and you want it doubled up. So I'm putting the ends right through here and then what you want to do is this loop side you want to feed it through here to create a knot. So now you have this knotted on your string. Okay so now that we have that knot on our button we want to um, put our fishing line, thread it through our needle. So I'm going to do that next. Okay, so it looks like this. So you have your needle and then you have your threaded button here. So now what we want to do is um, actually puncture the pillow. So I have got my center point here that I marked. So I'm going to put the needle in through there and on the other side you want to take time a little bit and just be careful don't just push it through because you might not end up in the center so I'm gonna just gently um, poke my needle around I don't know if you can see it kind of trying to get through so I'm gonna wait until I can feel it right where that hole is with my finger and then I'm going to push it through so I'm I don't know if you can see here but I'm gonna pull the needle all the way through and then the um, button is secure on this side. So you can see my little button. So I, I have a little button here in the middle and then we're gonna pull it really taut to create the tufted look. And then if you want, you'll be able to add a larger piece on top after if you choose to. So now that we're through, we're actually done with this giant needle. It's just about getting it through the pillow. So you just need a needle that's big enough to make it through the pillow. And then what I'm going to do is choose another button. This one is a different design, so they don't have to be the same design. Um, it's kind of fun to have a different one on each side, I think. Then you could flip your pillows and get kind of like a different look every day or whenever you feel like switching it up. Now I have the two threads coming out here. So what you want to do is thread um, one thread through one way through your button loop. So thread one piece this way and then take your other piece and thread it through the opposite way and then slide your button down. Okay, so now this button is in the center as well so as I pulled it down the string. Now we have to really pull and um, push it down to create that tufted look. So this is why you really need fishing line or a really strong string or something like that um, if you really want it tufted. So how hard you pull and how much you swish down is 
going to determine how tufted your pillow will be. So I'm just pushing down and pulling on the string. I don't want to break the fishing line, but even if you do break your thread, you can just start the process again. It's really not um, a deal breaker, nothing will happen. So I'm just, okay, and then once I have it, I'm just gonna grab my two pieces and make a regular knot and just make sure that the knot slips underneath the button, which it should kind of naturally, but okay. And then try to pull it as taut as I can. And then you'll want to make a couple of those tight knots. And that's really it guys. Can you believe how quick and easy that was? I can't wait to show you the finished product on this. It's super fun. If you have some old pillows that you're kind of getting bored, and need a little refresh. This is a super fun and easy project to do. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. I tried it a few times. I'm gonna wrap this around here also a couple times and then just cut off the excess and we're done. Okay, so I'm just um, squishing down a bit into the pillow so that I get a little gap where I can cut the um, thread. But the other good thing about using the fishing line is that it's so clear and transparent, you can't see it. Okay, so that is it guys, ta-da! We have that one on one side, this one on the other side, and then if you wanna take the look up a notch, you can add a larger piece. Um, the larger pieces do not ever have a button loop, which is why I use the small, thanks for the hearts guys! And that's why I used a small button to start with. I love the look of the little buttons. You can even do like four little buttons or whatever look you wanna go for. But if you wanted to add a larger piece like I did on this one, all you need to do is grab your glue gun and glue it right onto the button that you just sewed on and then you'll have a larger brooch. So do you guys wanna see me um, do that step as well? So I think, does anybody want to see me glue this on? It's really, you just have to glue it on and have a little patience pushing it down into the pillow to dry. So let's just do it, why not? It's kind of fun to have one big one on the front. Actually, while we wait for the glue gun to warm up, I haven't even done any giveaways yet. This project was so fast and so easy. So here's our pillow, and since I don't think my glue gun is, oh, it's actually ready, okay, good. So all we need to do is add a little bit of glue right to the center of our brooch and then we're just gonna give it a minute to dry and attach onto our little button and we're all set. Now, if you guys um, don't have any of our smaller pieces with button loops, but maybe you have some larger pieces, all you can, you can just get a regular old um, sewing button, something that either matches closely to your pillow or maybe is silver or goldy or something that will match a little bit with the brooches and use those and then glue the, the brooch right onto that. Or if you have a pillow that is already tufted, you know, with a regular old button, you can just grab one of these and add, attach it right there as well and you don't even have to do the step of using the button and tufting it yourself. So it's a really fun, easy project and a really great way to, um, you know, Freshen up some old pillows in a quick, easy, and fun way. So I've added our glue. Now you just, the tricky part is making sure that they make enough contact. So I'm just really squishing it together so that hopefully there's enough contact for it to dry. Okay guys, I'm hoping it's dry. It feels pretty secure. So there you go. That's all there is to it. And then you have the cute little one on the back which is a really fun detail too. So no matter which way you throw it, it looks great. You can switch it up. I just love this product project. I think it's super fun and easy. I love the way these pillows turn out. I think I'll be using them in my office. I think they're just really fabulous fun and easy to make. All right, while I have you guys here, I also just wanted to remind you that our deal of the month napkin rings are on for 99 cents each and it's only on to the end of this month and we don't have many left, so I think they're gonna be gone soon. These napkin rings are gorgeous. They look great on any color of napkin. 
So I just wanted to remind you that that deal is still on. They're 99 cents each. I think that's 60% off or something crazy like that. Um, so we do have a few of these available, but they are gonna sell out before the end of the month. So if you haven't checked those out, it's a great time to do so. Until next time, I'm Natalie with totallydazzled.com, helping you shine one rhinestone at a time. Bye guys. Totally Dazzled sells sparkling rhinestone wedding supplies. Check us out at totallydazzled.com. But before you do, click up here and grab our free download, 50 ways to bling out your wedding. Or click down here and watch one of our other awesome tutorials.